Facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion is yet another type of passive transport besides osmosis and diffusion in which substances move down their concentration gradient from an area of high concentration to low concentration of a solute. It does not require ATP to occur and facilitated diffusion differs from diffusion in the sense that it uses a transport protein located in this picture in purple. The purpose of facilitated diffusion, as with any method of cell transport, is to maintain homeostasis or balance in the body. So here we have a phospholipid bilayer streaming across the cell and two pictures of facilitated diffusion. On both sides of the picture, there is a high solute concentration being shown, and the movement of these molecules are through the transport protein to the area where there is a low concentration of solute. One example that is a popular method of facilitated diffusion is the movement of glucose into cells. It's put inside the cell, and this is outside the cell. Glucose freely flows through the blood after you've eaten a big meal and needs to enter the cells, does so with some help by the transport protein among some other materials in the body and gets into our cells where we need to uh, have cell respiration take place.